What's poppin'? Smello back at you with another video. Drake and 21 just hit us over the head with that her loss, and I'm gonna show you how to make a beat that they would rap on. Let's get to it. All right, so let's just play the bare melody very quickly. What I started with was a vintage digital piano out of Keyscape. I noticed that a lot of the progressions that I liked out of the Drake album, you know, they didn't start on the one. So with this, the key is D sharp, but I start on a four chord. It's a four, two, three progression. All I did was layer it a bunch of times. I have this synth from the UVI OBX legacy package. Also layered it with this Galactic Vinyl Ghost preset from Augmented Strings by Arturia. And I only did the top notes, took away the bass notes. One thing I do want you to know, I took the release all the way down so that it wouldn't bleed over. And believe it or not, I went to Flex. This is the Bedonica reset out of the Synthwave pack. But with that, I just did the little accent right there. Nothing too major. Talk about the processing of these instruments. Let's go through it very quick. For the piano, it's just a fruity vintage chorus, a parametric EQ, cutting out a lot of the lows, and the Valhalla vintage verb with a very short decay and light on the mix. We talk about the UVI workstation preset. We have the manipulator, which has a stereo widener built into it and also a detuning effect. I'll play it with and without. Now with it. And with that, you know, I cut out a lot of the lows, did some EQ work. The only thing I did is put, it, <clears throat> the only thing I did with the augmented strings is put an EQ shelf on it. And as far as the little accent, it's a custom RC20 preset. I don't have a pack out for any presets or anything like that. That'll be coming soon in the future. Now let's talk about this vocal. As far as the vocal, it comes from a splice pack with Bridget Kelly and stuff like that. Chopped it up a little bit. I put the generic bleeding cross faders on it. But here are some things I did as far as the processing of the vocal. Let's listen to the vocal drive first before we go through all of this. I put Manipulator on it, one of my favorite plugins, as you can see. All I did on Manipulator was change the format which changes the tone of the voice. I wanted to make it deeper. I then put Arvox on it to compress it even more. I pretty much did a telephone type filter with it. Put a Valhalla vintage verb on it, turn the mix down to about 26%. Then with the effect rack, I just put a Echo Boy Junior 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 on it. And that's how we get that vocal right there. So after I rendered it, a couple things happened. The first thing that happened, I took the sample and had it loop one time. But I went in here to the sampler, clicked edit and audio editor, and then hit the sample rate, hit the resample button and moved it to 5,000. It's over 5,000! Yeah, but we reduced the sample rate so that we could get a more muffled sound. So. Here it is regular. Here it is muffled. Gives you that Drake underwater effect and all that stuff. Now, this is something that I recommend. It's a nice touch. It's a very nice touch, very heartwarming. And it is a Memphis vocal. I'm not gonna say who it is, but just go search Dirty South Acapellas or Memphis Acapellas, something like that, and then get you a little cut. Chef kiss to that one. 
Now with this, all I did was the same type of telephone EQ effect with the parametric EQ. But then I added a delay to it. So there you have that one. Also pitched it down. We're gonna get to the drums now. I'm gonna break this down and it is very simple. What you want to think is Memphis style drums with these type of beats. So I have a pound cake snare from the Melo D combustion two pack. Now I gotta let you know, even though it sounds similar to the pound cake snare, I made this snare 100% from scratch. Didn't combine other existing sounds or anything. I made it from scratch, synthesized with a bunch of processing and things like that. I gotta let you know that you can find a pound cake snare somewhere out in the ethos or something where you can find another Memphis snare, but this snare I made. Just have to make it clear because don't do that i then got these doubled up high hats but really if you look i just got a few stutters in there the stutters are panned the real highlight is the triple bump right here and the triple bump right here those are the real highlights outside of this this is a basic two-step pattern that you're gonna have with anything simple Let's look at the 808 pattern. The 808 pattern is minimalistic to where it doesn't even hit on the second bar, but it's really just doing patterns that I've taught you in the past in my trap drum patterns video, very basic, very classic pattern. But as far as the 808, it has enough oomph in it to where I don't need to put a kick under it or anything like that. It has a very solid bump. So now that we have the drums done, I wanted to do something special for this. So I basically did a piano intro, kind of like how he had one on major distribution because there were a few switch ups in the album. So I wanted to make something like that a part of the beat. I'm not gonna go too in depth on this chord progression. So what I need you to know very quickly, for no reason, D sharp major, which is the key that we're in, D sharp major, is parallel key is C minor, C minor. So with that, I made a C minor chord progression. At the end of the progression, I hit you with a diminished chord, which is also something I'm gonna teach you how to use very soon. As far as the processing on the piano, I just took some of the lows down. I used the manipulator to widen the piano, and I also used the Valhalla Vintage Verb. Now the last piece, just the last piece, another augmented strings. It's the first light preset. Just to go back to the keyscape, this is the wing upright preset if you didn't know. Which of course you wouldn't because I didn't show you. All I did with this is roll the top notes of the chords. So all of that being said, we just went over the whole beat. Let's listen to how it sounds. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. Be sure to leave a comment. Also be sure to put a like on the video, help it get through the algorithm. I appreciate you, but signing out. I'll see y'all another day, somehow, some way.